So this is the amazing new kitchen. You guys will see that this is the biggest difference between where we started and where we're gonna finish. So what's really cool about these kitchens is again, little tiny little upgrades. Beautiful kitchen, solid wood. This is nice, really nice finish. Again, the difference between this and a custom cabinet, this is about a third the price. Now, don't buy junk. Don't buy junk. They make this stuff where it's wafer board. Don't buy that stuff, it's garbage. As soon as it gets wet, it will deteriorate. Don't go to the big box stores for this stuff. Find a local cabinet company. These guys are absolutely awesome. They'll actually design your kitchen for you based on your measurements. They'll come out, they'll template everything, and then they'll be able to give you a price and say, okay, here's what it is in a high-end cabinet, a mid-range cabinet, and a low-end cabinet. Don't buy big box when it comes to these cabinets. It's not worth it, and especially on countertops. But little cool little features like this, not only is this a plywood box, then with all pre-routed and all pre-done for you to be able to put your shelves in at any height that you want, we also have this really cool feature. No slam doors. It's awesome when you're trying to sleep in in the morning and your kids want to get something to eat, that I can tell you. So <clears throat> these big handles, again, going to the big box stores, these are things that can cost you eight, nine, 10, 11 bucks. Okay guys, here's a little secret. Go on Amazon, look for some international shippers. It might take 30 days to get to you, but you can buy these things a lot of time for a dollar to a handle. That's where you pick up some savings to then do some of the other cool stuff in the house like we talked about with the trim. Then we put in, we put some really nice high-end countertops in. These, this is actually Brazilian granite. Really cool, awesome stuff. The big thing about this is, is it's not polished. When you go into most of these houses, if they say they're a high-end house, they will put granite into these houses. When they put the granite into these houses, they'll use like a polished granite and it will look kind of nice, but I can promise you this, it's a budget stone. Again, find yourself a stone dealer. Find yourself a place that does countertops. Don't be afraid to shop. Once you get an idea of how many square feet you have and how you figure that is you figure front of this to the wall and then you figure end to end. And when you figure out those measurements, you'll be able to figure out, okay, in fact, let's even do that as an example right now so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is 25 and a half inches. And it's 12 feet long. So it's as simple as putting that into your calculator, 25 and a half inches times 12 feet long, 144 inches, that will give you your square footage. When you get that square footage, that's when you can start calling some of these granite places and saying, hey, I've got this much square footage that I need. What are my options? They'll say, okay, you've got 40 square feet overall in the kitchen. And obviously that's not the number of the, 20, of the 12, by, uh, 12 by two feet, because that's only 24. But we've got another piece over here as well. So again, make that call to the granite company. They'll say, yeah, 40 square feet. We'll need to come up and template it, but here's our choices of stone. All of these companies have websites, all the good ones anyway, have websites of what product you have available. Don't go cheap budget. Don't do it because it doesn't separate you from the other stuff that's out there on the market. Again, our stuff, we go with a different finish, non-polished. So we'll actually go with a non-polished and what we call leathered feel or honed granite. This is a completely different stone than anybody else is gonna find in other homes. We standardize on cool, different type of stuff because it's what helps separate, separate us from the rest of the bunch. You'll see also, like we showed you that really cool feature with the um, contractors, always leaving much behind. Unbelievable. We have a nice no slam drawer. <clears throat> These are the kind of features that a buyer is gonna wanna see in a house because that recognize that, hey, I wasn't just trying to get out of this project and spend as little as possible. I was making an investment and in making sure that I turn over a great property that's done right with all the right nice things that anybody would want to put in their house. People can walk into this house, buy this house, and not need to change anything for the next 20 years. That's always what our goal is. We go over here, this is a different sink as you guys can see, which what's called this is called an apron of a sink. This is a farmer's sink. Major cool factor. People absolutely love the look of this because you're not going to find this stuff in most homes. Here's the interesting thing. 
to get a special sink cut in granite to then put a regular bowl underneath it, you can be looking at four, five hundred bucks. This sink, just gotta do your budget shopping, my friends. You can get this sink for between three and 350 bucks, and then this cutout doesn't cost anything extra because they can actually slice into it. You're already paying for the square footage, so they don't actually do a whole big deduction for that cut in a lot of places. This sink looks better and usually saves you money. So lastly, as you look at the different outlets, we make sure that when we put any of these kitchens in that we take the extra time to make sure that we have good outlet space. And a lot of stuff will run on its own separate circuit. We'll talk a lot about electrical later. But if you guys take a look, a lot of these, we'll actually put these really cool things in. USB ports, right? Are there ever enough of these in a house ever? Nope, there never are. So we always put these things in the kitchen. That way, mom's sitting there, she's doing the dishes, kids are helping loading in the dishwasher. Here you go, plug right into there, everything's charging. Can't underestimate how important these things are. Now the difference of cost is one of those outlets is about a buck and a half. One of these is about $5. Put about six of these in the house. You want one in every single bedroom. You want one in the living room. And you'll want one here in the kitchen, maybe two here in the kitchen. When it's all said and done, six of those times an extra four or five bucks, you're talking nothing. You're talking like an extra 25 bucks. No big deal at all. Super cool feature though, and something that everybody wants to add on to. So this is the appliance stuff, guys. Again, you can go super cheap, but don't do it. People are gonna walk through and they're gonna be like, yeah, that stuff's garbage. A lot of the big box stores, they have absolutely fantastic deals come different types of the holidays around the year. The other thing too is, is that anytime you buy a house, you get a little pamphlet in the mail that says, hey, if you just send this in, you get a 10% off coupon. Perfect opportunity to use those coupons as well because when you're buying a kitchen worth of appliances, it can save you three or 400 bucks if you're spending three or four grand. Huge, huge discounts. Again, as part of the Lumberjack Landlord plan, this is the type of stuff that we watch. Lumberjack Landlord guys always look at costs, making sure they're buying things at the right time, making sure they're reducing costs in any way they possibly can, but yet still buying quality product. Because that's what ends up at the bottom line at the end of these projects. So again, you find something nice, a package like that. This particular stove isn't brand new, but that's okay. We're not selling this as a brand new home. This stove will actually get all cleaned up when the cleaners come, and then it looks literally brand new, but it's only a few years old. It'll be a great, great opportunity to save you some money and still give the new homeowners a brand, a nice looking stove that works great. What's going on everybody? It's Matt, AKA the Lumberjack Landlord. Super awesome to be with you guys here today. Thanks so much for watching that last video. Comments, post it below. I wanna get back to you guys. Thanks so much for taking the time and investing in yourselves. Talk to you soon. Take care.